Today we follow those invisible traces on the wind, how plants and animals use scent in their everyday lives. It tells animals where breakfast is being served, even when it's still under wraps 60 meters below. It tells them who their friends are and their enemies. The queens of the savannah use it and the little golden lions of the Brazilian rainforest. Humans can distinguish about 10,000 different smells. But why does a dog need a nose a million times more sensitive? We start after nightfall in darkest Africa. Although it's the females who are dominant in this community, Hyenas don't rate highly when it comes to looks. They'll never be beauty queens, but they're still experts in the art of perfumery. They look rather like dogs, but they're actually more closely related to cats. They live in clans which can be 80 strong, and the cubs are kept in a communal den where they're suckled by any female producing milk. At night, the adults head out to patrol the boundaries of their territory. They have scent glands on their feet and leave their mark by scraping the ground with their paws. They also excrete an oily yellow substance from scent glands beneath their tails, pasting it onto surrounding bushes and grasses. The locals call it witch's butter. And the youngsters learn how to do it at an early age. The clan uses communal latrines far from its den. Yet another odour message telling neighbours to steer clear. Smell also tells hyenas who's who in the pack. A greeting ceremony establishes that this hyena doesn't belong here. <laughs> They're ruthless adversaries, and the interloper is driven off, limping badly. While the young are awaiting the adults' return, they do a bit of investigating of their own. At this age, every sight and smell is intriguing. They sniff out their own intruder, a porcupine mother. She's a prickly character, though, and not very friendly. Next, their keen noses track down a beetle. And even he is rather alarming. They've clearly still got a lot to learn. Hyena's sense of smell is far superior to our own, and they're well equipped to track down their food, even on a moonless night. They can smell a carcass at a distance of four or five kilometers, and the sound of other predators feeding can attract hyenas up to 10 kilometers away. Tonight, they decide to let the lions do the dirty work. Once the lions have made the kill, the hyena clan moves in to harass them. Lions often scavenge from hyenas, but here it's the other way round. With enough determination, the lions are eventually driven away. The hyenas' hugely powerful jaws and just as impressive digestive system now make quick work of the carcass, including the bones and teeth, all consumed in just a couple of hours.
Once a female moon moth has manufactured her sexy perfume, all she has to do is wait. Males can detect it a kilometer away and come running or flapping. The males don't have mouths, can't eat, and have only one function.